Hi everyone, today continue with the tutorial in MATLAB and image processing. Today we're going to talk about information of the image and how we can use it and also a little more about MATLAB, about a structure, how a structure are working. So let's start here. Uh, we're going to start writing about information of the file. So for this one we need this specific function remember easy to remember I am image F info then we put the image we want the file so let's copy this from the previous exercise and let's see what happens when we run the section now here in the command window you can see the structure and structure have all these parameters inside so we have the file name the size everything but how we use this so as you remember I told you if not if I didn't mention so here if we put semicolons then we won't see any output so let's clear this all the variables let's see, let's see. and let's write and start again this is the image we are working so now I will draw in this section here and then you see we don't have any output and we have the answer here but let's put this in a variable so let's call this image information equal to this and then we run the section again and here we have our structure how our structure work so this is the name of our structure and inside of them we will have different type of variables so if we double click here see a structure with 14 fields we have all the fields and the variables and how we access this now we need to access this data so let's go back to editor example and to access this data is simple for example now let's see maybe we want to know the width okay so for the width we have let's copy this control c control b and then you use the dot as soon as you use the dot you are going inside the structure so what is inside the structure so here you can see here we have everything so let's take the width we want the width so and leave it like this and let's use it here in the common prompt just to see so here you get the output but let's try something interesting like how many bytes this image has so let's put I am bytes equal so we have the width we need to multiply by the height so let's copy this here we put height here you can see you don't remember height then we need to multiply by the number of bits so the number of bits we have is this one 24 Oh, sorry okay here depth okay with capital and then because we are doing bytes we know that one byte is eight bits so we need to divide it by eight so here we can run a section again so bit depth okay four both here uh, wrong okay I'm writing wrong depth Bit BID. Okay, the problem is that I didn't put the structure, so the structure that and then I'm accessing this value. Okay, here now we have how many bytes we have. So now let's find out the real size of the file so size image equal 
then we go to the structure that contain the data we put that and then we go here and we have size so file size so file size semicolon because we don't want to print it and then let's find out the compression we have the real amount of bytes and now we have the site that the image is taking computer so let's see how much was the compression for this image so compression of image equal so we have the amount of bytes and we divide it by the size of the image uh, let's see so the radio of compression is 32 so we have more byte than the size that is really inside the image so we can see that the image is compressed by using the JPG compression method of format so yeah that's all for this function how to read information about your image and how to read the data from the structure here we have a character character we have a variable normal variable we have a character character integer 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 more character and you can see here also character character so oh, this is how you see the structure later on i can create a video if you like about structure in matlab how to build the structure is simple so please give it a like put your comment subscribe to the channel see you in the next video bye bye